Hey guys, g'day and welcome back. So this afternoon what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer one of the most common questions I get asked in a basic rigging course, right, which is what is a turfer? So I figured while I've got the turfer out, I may as well look at some more basic rigging equipment we use. So we're going to take a look at a turfer, a come along, a chain block and we'll also have a look at a beam clamp. Right, because they're all very important tools you're going to use in rigging and you will use them quite often. So it's a good idea to know what the purpose of each one is and when you're going to use it. All right. So we'll start off with the turfer because that's probably the most common question I have. All right, so we'll come down we'll take a look over this one. So remember, if you need to um, pull something, the two most common things you can use to pull something, if you're going to be doing it by hand, is either a turfer or a come along. All right, so we'll look at the turfer first. All right, so we'll just put this down here. All right, so here's our turfer over here. All right, I'll just pop over here. All right, now with the turfer, essentially all we do is we feed the cable in through one side. All right, feeds out the back here. We attach this, whether it be by a sling or by a bit of wire rope, but we anchor this off to something. Then we run the wire out this way. All right, and that can hook onto whatever it is that you need to pull towards you. All right, now we've got two levers here. All right, so if I was to put it over this lever here and then start pulling, all right, you can see, well, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but using this top lever, that pulls the rope back out of the um, turfer. All right, so if you need to put a bit of slack in it, you can use that top one and that will start letting slack back out into it, all right? Go over to the back one, all right? Now on the back one, if we start using this, then it starts pulling that wire rope through. So if we need to put tension on something or we need to pull something along, a turfer is great for it, right? Especially if it's at ground level because they can be a bit awkward working up higher with it. But if it's down nice and low, Turfer should be your go-to. Right? So it's great for pulling things or if you had to pull a beam over or do anything along those lines, that would be the one you want to go to. All right? Now, what about if we're working up a bit higher? All right, so very handy tool to come along. All right? And the come along is probably one of the handiest tools you've got when you're doing rigging. Okay, so when you're gonna use a come along, Make sure this lever's in the middle. First thing you can do, you just, as long as that's in the middle, that means it's in neutral, which means we can just pull a little bit of tension on it there. All right, now from there, we flick this lever across. All right, so. Just flick that lever across like that. All right, so it's pointing that way. All right. All right, so now we just pull that up and we can get, get it nice and tight. All right. So we just make sure this lever's across and then we can just start pulling it tight. Now, chain block and turfer. So when we look at a basic rigging, some of the questions might be asked is something along the lines of, what could you use to tension a static line? Right, now because we're putting tension in something, so you're pulling on something, a come along or a turfer are great ways to do it, all right? My preference personally would be a come along over a turfer, because as I said, a turfer can be a little awkward if you're working with a little bit of height, right? But the come along is great for doing that, all right? Now, the other bit of um, gear that is commonly used, all right, so we've covered our turfer and we've covered our come along, all right? So we'll have a look at a chain block next, all right? So a chain block, you can't use a chain block to pull something along horizontally because what you'll find is when you try and do it, it will all just jam up and it'll get full of dirt and grit and it's not really designed for that, all right? What a chain block is designed for is for lifting things. So a chain block is great if you've got somewhere with limited headroom, you can't get the crane over there, all right? They do come in various sizes, all right? They can come, get pretty big, all right? And they get pretty heavy as well, all right? 
but if you need to lift something up with limited headroom so you might be putting a bit of pipe into a pipe rack you might be lifting an engine out of something somewhere where you've got that very limited room this is where the chain block comes in all right so let's take a look at the chain block all right let's just duck under this one all right let's lift this up a bit more all right Okay, so here we have our chain block. All right, so we've got it attached up here, and we've got it attached to that beam using a beam clamp. All right, so we'll just take another look at that. So that is a beam clamp holding onto the um, beam to support the chain block. Okay, now, when we're using a chain block, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, you got your chain here for going up and down. So take it up. All right. So you can bring it down, hook your load on. And then you can take it back up. Alright, so now they're just three pieces of equipment that will come in very handy to know how to use when you become a rigger. Alright, so remember the chain block and the is designed for lifting up only. Alright, whereas the come along and the turfer are more so for when you're pulling something okay so hope that answers a couple of questions because as I said the turfer in particular is one of the most common questions I get asked when they come into a basic rigging course because a couple of the answers do refer to a turfer and also a come along and they'll also ask what's the different well I'll ask which one would you rather use to pull something horizontally? Would you rather use the come along or would you rather use the chain block? All right, so now you know, if you're gonna pull something horizontally, you're gonna use the chain block. Ah, uh, sorry. So if you're gonna pull something horizontally, you're gonna use the come along. Um, and the reason you don't use the chain block is because the chain block will jam up. Okay, so I hope that helps you. All right, so when you come into that basic reading class, you'll have that little bit more knowledge and look if there's anything else you want to know about don't forget to um, leave a comment in the comment section and i'll try and get back to it all right um, if you want to keep updated um, especially if you're going to be doing any courses in the future hit that like and subscribe and follow button all right and that way you can keep updated with any new videos as they come out all right thanks for your time enjoy the rest of your day